Hi everyone, we're on week two. This was a busy and exciting week for us. The ducks were hatching, the guineas were hatching. We've had a lot of fun this week with the babies. There's some good videos for you to watch with the babies and it shows all the stages of them hatching. And I'm also gonna read you this book this week called Egg to Chicken. What is a chicken? A chicken is a type of bird. All birds have feathers and wings and all birds lay eggs. Feathers help birds to fly and to stay warm and dry. Flying takes a lot of energy, so birds need to eat often. Birds have mouths called beaks or bills, but not teeth. Gulls spread their wings and feathery tails when they fly. Not all birds can fly. Ostriches have wings, but they cannot fly. Ostriches are the world's largest bird. Some are more than two meters tall. This is an ostrich egg, which weighs the same as 24 hen eggs. So this is the ostrich egg compared to a little chicken egg. Ostrich's feathers are long, soft, and fuzzy. The story of a chicken. There are more chickens in the world than any other type of bird. A hen is a female chicken. A male chicken is called a rooster or a cockerel. A chicken is a baby, or a chick is a baby chicken. Chicks begin their lives as eggs. The story of how an egg grows into an adult chicken is called a life cycle, which is what we showed last week where it had the egg. A chicken goes through three stages in its life cycle, egg, chick, and adult chicken. Making a nest. Hens start laying eggs when they are around six months old. First, they need a nest to lay eggs. Most birds build their nests in trees. They may use twigs, grass, or moss. Ospreys build a huge nest of twigs in trees and on rooftops. The smallest nests are built by, built by hummingbirds. Hens build their nest on the ground. They find somewhere dry and quiet and use straw or grass to make the nest. Hens build their nest in barns or hen houses where they are warm and safe. A hen usually lays one egg a day. The eggs will only grow into chicks if the hen has already mated with a rooster. When a rooster wants to mate, he crows loudly. As they mate, the rooster fertilizes the hen's eggs. A rooster also crows to tell other males to stay away. Roosters are bigger than hens and they have longer tail feathers. The hen starts to lay her eggs a day after mating. Only fertilized eggs can grow into chicks. A group of eggs is called a clutch. Brooding. When the hen has laid all her eggs into the nest, she sits on them to keep them warm. This is called brooding, and it's an important job. The hen has to sit on her clutch while the chicks grow. If the eggs become cold, the chicks stop growing. A brooding hen spreads her feathers over the eggs. So what we did in the incubator was what the mom chicken does to her eggs. The incubator kept them warm just like the mom would do on her nest. A nesting box makes a safe warm home for hens and their eggs. The hens turn the eggs from time to time to keep them warm all over. Inside the egg, all bird eggs are protected by a hard shell. Inside each fertilized egg, a tiny chick is growing. So this is the yolk, this is the chick, the albumin is the fluid that's in there with it, and then we have the hard shell. Inside the egg, the chick gets food from the yellow yolk and albumin. The albumin is the clear liquid that we call the white of the egg. It protects the chick and keeps it warm. Chicks need air to breathe. The larger end of the egg holds an air space. 
when I was candling some of the eggs, you can see that there's one part on the end that's very white and clear when you look through them, and that's the airspace that's inside the egg. You can go into last week's videos and see when I was candling the eggs, and you'll be able to see that part. Hens lay eggs even when they have not mated. The eggs that we eat have not been fertilized. They don't have chicks inside them. Chicken eggs are easy to cook and good to eat. Most chicken egg shells are brown, white, or cream. The eggs hatch. After growing for about three weeks, so chickens take three weeks, but ducks took four. So it was 28 days for the ducks and only 21 for the chickens. After growing for about three weeks, the young chicks are ready to break out of their eggs. This is called hatching. Each chick has a sharp point on the top beak called an egg tooth. The chick uses its egg tooth to crack a hole in the shell. So first it just gets the little hole. It chips a hole all around the shell, moves its way around in a circle, and then it uses its body to push the shell apart. Then it climbs out of the shell. Soon as all the babies have hatched out, then you have the chicks. The newly hatched chicks cheep loudly. It is tired and its feathers are wet. Once the feathers have dried, they become fluffy. This process right here, I have made a video with pictures of the ducks. So you'll be able to see all these stages in the next video. Life as a chick. The hens look after her newly hatched chicks. She keeps them warm under her wings. When they are just two weeks old, the chicks can leave the barn or the hen house and explore outside. But they stay really close and they stay right under her to keep warm. So I have the baby ducks in my kitchen and we have a heat lamp that makes them, it stays warm in there just like the mother would keep them warm. Chicks and chickens like to scratch around in the dirt looking for tasty worms or bugs to eat. Chickens do not have teeth, so they cannot chew their food. They swallow it whole instead. The chicks grow into adults in just a few months. Glossy feathers grow in place of the soft, fluffy feathers. The chicks grow red, fleshy combs on the top of their head, which is this. This is the comb. And that keeps them cool. A hen that is less than a year old is called a pullet. Soon the young hens will start to lay eggs. When a hen mates, a new life cycle begins. Roosters have colorful feathers and grow larger combs than hens. So that's one way you can tell the hen. This is the hen and this is the rooster. The rooster has a bigger comb. So I hope you can watch the videos of the baby ducks and um, we'll have more videos of them next week when we get to take them outside and they can play and swim. I hope you guys are all doing really good and I miss all of you and I hope you have a great week. Bye.